So guys, in this video I will be explaining Savitar's new red suit during the Flash Season 9 set photos, aka the Flash Season 9 finale as well. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on the Flash Season 9 and once again we are back with another theory video and this one is about Savitar's new red suit that we saw in the Flash Season 9 set photos. So yeah, the set photos for the Flash Season 9 have come out from Canada Graphs and I will link the blog post in the description down below because I will be using some of the images. But when the set photos for the finale came out, it revealed every speedster villain on set. So we're having Godspeed returning, Reverse Flash returning, Zoom returning and Savitar returning as well. However, most interesting of all was that of Savitar's return. Not that because he's the best villain or anything like that, not that because, you know, he's the character that everyone wanted to see return, but this was actually due to the new red suit, which actually brought a lot of question marks in regards to Savitar's return and what's going to be different about it. Because when we used to have Savitar all the way back in the Flash season 3, he used to have white lightning with a very light blue glow on his suit. Now, it's a red glow and supposedly going to be a new lightning color as well because I don't see how white lightning is going to fit this suit, it's going to look weird. So perhaps his lightning is now going to be red, perhaps it's now going to be orange. But why is this? Let's discuss it. So first we need to go into detail of Savitar's suit and why, you know, it does what it does. So the Savitar's suit, it gives like a blue glow, it's very very advanced metallic. Now, Savitar's suit boosts the speed force within him, helping him to run much faster and be more connected to the speed force. And that's how pretty much he looked like he was teleporting whenever he was running because he was that fast. And that explains not only how fast Savitar is, but also why when the Savitar Barry goes into the suit, his lightning color changes because when Savitar Barry is outside of the suit, it's just simple flash orange lightning. But when he goes into that Savitar suit, the lightning color changes to a white lightning. And that is due to that very, very strong connection to the speed force the suit gives him. And you can pretty much tell from like the blue energy it gives as well. Now, if you guys remember throughout the show, the Speed Force had two different colors. Before the death of the Speed Force, aka before the events of not only the Flash Season 7, but way back into Crisis on Infinite Earths, any time Barry entered the Speed Force, the Speed Force color was that of light blue, thus matching that Savitar glow pretty much. And Savitar's glow is obviously light blue as well. And the reason behind this is because Savitar's suit is not only a direct cause of the Philosopher's Stone, but is also made from parts of the Speed Force. Like, it's 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 a Speed Force suit. It helps him connect further into the Speed Force, and that's, that's what explains the light blue glow, the white lightning, and all of those sorts of stuff. But when Barry and Iris rebirth the Speed Force from the events of The Flash Season 7, this is when things change. Anytime Barry entered the Speed Force, the Speed Force color was completely different, it was no longer light blue, but it is now a darker orange rather than the blue we used to have. Now this could have been a retcon because Eric Wallace would have wanted it to look more comic accurate perhaps, but maybe they used this as an opportunity to change Savitar's suit. And now the reason why this Speed Force obviously looks different is because this is the post-crisis Speed Force. This is the only existing Speed Force now. The old Speed Force does no longer exist because it's dead. The only Speed Force that's ever lived is this new one. So from all the way when Barry got his powers, even though they rebirthed the Speed Force from the Flash Season 7, the old Speed Force is gone. Meaning, the new Speed Force existed ever since Barry got his powers all the way to pretty much forever pretty much because the speed force exists beyond space time so technically time travel principles do not apply to the speed force so even though barry created the speed force during the flash season 7 it doesn't matter this has been the speed force that's always existed post crisis the old speed force the one with the blue never existed and because of this new speed force, this is why Savitar's suit operates the same way. Savitar's suit operates the exact same way, however functioning with this new speed force instead, because it's been the only one that's ever existed. And that's why instead of it being light blue, 
it is now going to be a reddish slash orangey color because Savitar's new suit is a Speed Force suit from the Speed Force, no longer the blue one. That could be a possibility. So this could be why Savitar's suit is no longer light blue, but it's now red. Now, another option could be that he could simply just be using the negative Speed Force as well. That could obviously be a possibility. And how could this work? So simply the reason this could work is maybe Thawne connects him to the negative speed force maybe if Red Death is not the negative speed force user which I am assuming she still will be but if Eddie Thawne somehow becomes the new negative speed force avatar maybe Eddie Thawne becomes the next avatar after Red Death or something like that if Eddie Thawne becomes the next avatar he could give this negative speed force energy to all of the villains so maybe when all of the villains return they all have red lightning that could be a possibility and that's why savitar's suit is red so it could also be because he is using the negative speed force that could be a possibility as well however we do have to take into consideration that cobalt blue will be bringing back these speedsters to present day from a point in time before they're dead because obviously Savitar got erased from existence. How is he gonna return? Zoom became the Black Flash So how is he back as Zoom? Reverse Flash got erased from existence in the Flash Season 8. So how is he back? These sorts of questions are going to be brought up and this is why these speeches that we are seeing on set are going to be brought back from a point in time before something happened to them and it's pretty much like Spider-Man No Way Home if you want to put in simple words. So that's how Dr. Octopus came back, that's how Green Goblin came back, and that's how we had the other Sinister Six villains coming back. It's the exact same principle, but for the Flash instead. So, I don't see how Savitar could be using the negative speed force because of that, so I do think there is definitely another reason behind it. Now, obviously, another option could be that Barry is actually in the suit, it's not Savitar, which, again, doesn't really make sense, because, yes, although, well, Savitar is Barry, Whenever Barry entered the Savitar suit, like when our Barry entered the Savitar suit during the Flash Season 3, that is when Savitar's suit turned red, just like what we're seeing right now on set. So there could be another explanation to it like that. I don't know, maybe the Savitar is not using the Philosopher's Stone, which I doubt. Or another option could be that Savitar is no longer as connected to the Speed Force as he was before, and that's why the lightning looks, well, the suit looks different as well, and supposedly the lightning is going to look different as well. So all of these are possible, but personally for me, the theory that makes the most sense in my opinion is the fact that Savitar's suit is a direct change because of the new Speed Force. I think it makes a lot of sense, so that's what I'm going to stick with for now. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this theory. I'm interested to hear all of your thoughts towards all of this as well. What do you guys think of my theory? Be sure to let me know. I'm interested to see all of your thoughts towards all of this as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.